the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 195, Micah 1 to 3. Zion without glory. Watching the age when the oppression of the powerful toward the weak prevailed, God declared judgment against the oppressors. First point. Micah and Isaiah ministered around the same period in South Judah. In the book of Micah, the message can be divided into three parts. The first part is chapters 1 to 2, and it starts by addressing all the people of South Judah. The second message is chapters 3 to 5, and it starts by addressing the heads of Jacob and the leaders of Israel. The third message is chapters 6 to 7, and it starts by telling the people to listen to God's message. Micah was from a small town in South Judah, and he ministered during the reigns of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah in 8th century BC, along with the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah's ministry focused on South Judah's international relations, and Micah focused on the wrongful behavior of the people as they isolated the poor and accepted bribery during trial. Micah moreover delivers God's everlasting love and also explained the birthplace of Jesus Christ. Second point, Micah rebuked Samaria, the capital city of North Israel, and Jerusalem, the capital city of South Judah. Through Micah, God proclaimed judgment on both North Israel and South Judah. All this is because of Jacob's transgression, because of the sins of the people of Israel. What is Jacob's transgression? Is it not Samaria? What is Judah's high place? Is it not Jerusalem? Micah especially rebuked the leaders of Samaria and Jerusalem. Micah furthermore revealed God's heart towards the small town of Bethlehem. The Samaria castle walls were established during the reign of King Omni, and it was besieged by Assyria for three years, then invaded and eventually destroyed in 722 BC. The Jerusalem castle and walls fell in the hands of Babylon in 586 BC after being attacked for 18 months. God proclaimed that eventually the entire South Judah would fall. Third point, Micah pointed out the sins of the leaders of the capital cities. Through Micah, God rebuked the behavior of the leaders. The behavior of the leaders of the two capital cities at the time was isolation of the poor and even stealing from the poor. The religious leaders also committed a great deal of evil. The false prophets of those days told lies and became popular among the people. Thus, their sins were outlined and rebuked. The people of South Judah at the time had no heart to listen to God but rather were shocked in their own greed. The reason for this was simple, when they became prosperous and abundant through their evil. They no longer felt the need to rely on God, and so God sent Micah to rebuke them. Fourth point, Micah criticized the sins of the false prophets, priests, and the heads. Micah's second message was directed at the leaders. The leaders of the two capital cities at the time did not carry out justice. They carried out evil and raided their people. As for the false prophets, they did not care to deliver God's message, but rather spoke for their own benefits and profits. And so, God proclaimed punishment on them. God moreover rebuked the sins of the leaders of South Judah 
priestess and the prophet. The people at the time accepted bribery during trial, and this was completely opposite to the days of David. David reigned over all Israel, doing what was just and right for all his people. Fifth point, Micah rebuked the people for building Jerusalem with Zion's blood. Through the prophet Micah, God told the people of Samaria that they did not once keep to the laws or policies of a kingdom of priests. This was largely down to the fact that the 19 kings of North Israel all went in the way of Jeroboam. South Judah also became a place with no righteousness or justice. Micah proclaimed, But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might, to declare to Jacob his transgression, to Israel his sin. God proclaimed that he would judge the people who constructed the Jerusalem temple through giant's blood. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.